So let's quickly recap all the different openings on the base of the skull. All Cranial nerve number fibers. one, cribriform plate and several openings on either side of the cribriform plate. Cranial nerve two, the optic nerve, goes out through the optic canal, which is here or here. Cranial nerves three, four, six, including the first branch of the trigeminal nerve, use the superior orbital fissure in order to pass into orbit and for ophthalmic nerve, the branch of the trigeminal, of course this is just the intermediary phase as it needs to go out on the forehead. Second branch of the trigeminal nerve, the maxillary nerve, exits the skull at the foramen rotundum. It is this opening here on the left side. By turning the skull a little bit, we would make it possible to see this opening here, that is foramen ovale, for the third and last branch, that is mandibular branch. More posterior to it, on the spine of the greater wing, there is foramen spinosum, entry point, and you can see here what kind of deep imprint the middle meningeal artery has made against internal table of the bone. This opening here, or here on the other side, that is internal acoustic meatus, and that is the entry point for cranial nerves number seven and eight, the facial and vestibulocochlear nerve. Cranial nerves nine, 10, 11, together with internal jugular vein, pass from the skull into the neck through the jugular foramen. And finally, cranial nerve number 12, having its own hypoglossal nerve canal, will be emerging from the skull on its own. One more time, a quick view into the right orbit, first to focus on optic canal, and then with additional turning of the orbit to see the superior orbital fissure. This is supraorbital margin, and this is supraorbital foramen. Occasionally, it's supraorbital notch, and that is the exit point from the orbit for ophthalmic nerve. The underside of the skull, we wanted to point out to stylomastid foramen here. We also wanted to point out to this entry point into carotid canal on the underside of the temporal bone, which is here and the opening, which is quite large and quite irregular, that is frame and lacerum, being seen from inferior direction.